Okay. Hi everyone. I think we can start now. So this series will feature uh, Xardas versus Junches from bracket H2. Um, first map will be on May, second map will be on Moras. Um, and in this map we have uh, Mongols versus Malians. So what do we have do we have here? The Mongols is one of the most progressive, I believe, because of the really good bonus in Dark Age, which is uh, hunters walking faster. Uh, they also have a bonus HP on scout line and uh, steppies, which are pretty powerful. Um, they also have a bonus on cavalry archer, which are a good combination with their um, really powerful unique units, the Mongolies. Um, they also have also uh, the team bonus um, bonus line of sight, um, which is pretty good for scouting in early game. Malians, on the other hand, is also a pretty popular save, I believe, in um, hybrid maps because of the wood discount they got on all buildings, especially the docks, which only cost uh, 123 woods, I think. Um, the barracks units get plus one piercer more per age, starting with feudal, and the villager gets a nice gold bonus. Um, and the bonus is that uh, universities work faster, so you can uh, basically instant research chemistry when you reach Imperial Age, for instance. Mm. Okay, so on Bay. Uh, Mongols are usually a really good pick because of so the hand bonus, which makes them uh, have a really good uh, feudal timing. So when we fight for water, um, they have a little bit of uh, an overhedge because of the faster feudal time. Uh, they are also a nice uh, batch, batch of tiers that they can gather a little bit later on the, in the game. Uh, for Malian, so as I said, pretty um, uh, popular hybrid sieve because of how fast they can duck and start fishing. And as you can see, uh, Junches should be the first to to ducking. And I expect Zardas going to duck right after this house. I see that Xardas scout uh, is moving towards uh, Junche's um, docking spot, which is pretty nice because once he found, the, he found every uh, ship, he can then contest the Nulum villager, which is, which, which is building the dock. Um, he will probably find it, but Junche's is here with his own scouts to the found. So pretty nice for this player. That are trying to delay a bit on Junches saving his scout. Hello, Delisman. Uh, and you can see the resource collection already skyrocket for the Mongol player. Uh, 100 resources at that stage of the game is pretty huge. And on a not hybrid map where you have like three more Vietjo on. Good. He could be clicking already. Okay, we are also getting the second boar. Also, five on wood, which is a great point for producing fishing ship from duck. Oh yeah, that's cube mode. Um, um, let's say pretty old and. I like things to be clear when I when I play because I cannot recognize berries. I don't see gold on stone, so I have to make sure that I can see everything. Um. Okay. So this is the third vision clip is going up for the chairs and also the third for the others. Um. Zardas is already walling um, here, which is um, maybe a little bit early um, because it's well, it's some idle time for the villager and 
we don't really expect a lot of land aggression or leave you damage because usually both players will want to contest water. We have a chance with the second dog already, so he should really go for a double fire galley play and Xardos also goes for the so that we're gonna have a pretty nice um, water fight. And this is also nice to delay. The only difference is like this villager is not loomed, so the villager is not winning. Uh, is now winning, not the scouts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Iceman, I think we play uh, Friday, right? And Xardas we play next week, February, if I'm correct. I play against Junches at the world. And now we have uh, Parax, which is pretty early. He might struggle a bit with the uh, wood. Like, oh, he doesn't have enough on gold to make the fire galleys. I went to gold a little bit too late, so now he sends four more. Whereas Xardas has more than enough, so queued the three fire carriers already. And then this should be a winning uh, fight for Xardas in raw numbers. Okay, the first fish ship is going down. We expect the first fire carrier to come down. Maybe this duck? Okay, and as Junches knows that he's late because of the lack of gold, he add the third dock to try and compensate for the delay. Nice saving of the fishing ship, making the the fairy galley swim around and we'll try to bait them into the dock. And could I could add also a demo I believe to try and get back get the upper end and Xardas is already full world already. Okay. Pretty pretty safe. So I don't expect any land aggression so far in Feudal Age. Probably just going straight for Castle Age and then some steep east raid. Okay, now all the fishing ship went down and Xardas is still adding more uh, fire galleys. Now it's six, it will be six fire galleys against uh, five probably. Um, let's see how the micro is. Getting some nice free damage before for the fights. And not getting paid it. Adding four or two more for the galley. Um, Dungeon's spear killed the Xander scout. What? Why the bell? Oh, that, that must be a misclick here. Yeah. That must be a misclick. Or oh, maybe he needed some resources. Okay. Oh, nice pickup from Xardas. Um, and uh, now adding a demo on the misclick on transport ship. I hope he conserves it because it would be a shame to to lose the game because of the transport ship. That's so costly, it's uh, 110 wood. So I really hope he, he sees that. I had the number of stars in here. Maybe, maybe you can fight. Oh, those so two are not fighting. So maybe Chanchez is now winning. No, Xardas is still winning. Maybe we'll try to repair some. There's no more villager here, so... No repair. And Xardas is adding a, a range. Okay, maybe you gonna put down some archers to try and raid. Um, earlier with the scout, he, he throws that. Junches had not started the world, so maybe Yasun is still not walled in. And the demo, let's see. Oh, 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 oh no, that's such a shame. That society could have gotten so much more. And yeah, now water is pretty much won for Xardas. Junches is still adding some and a lot of spearmen because I guess he expects. A lot of scouts and now starts the warning. Okay, so yeah, going archers against uh, spears is pretty good. And um, I'm gonna say that everything here is blind, right? So he doesn't know about all the spears, and John Chase doesn't know either for what his 
um, Pokemon Xardas is doing. He lost his card also, I didn't see one, probably uh, he lost it to the um, to Xardas scouts. And now taking them to Ducks. I stopped Fire Guy prediction. Oh, that's sneaky. I don't think he gets anything. That was sneaky. And now Xardas is adding more ships. Because he won the water, the color goes up to seven ships. Yes, that's a lot of fishing ships. And now going back to other the ducks. Uh Josh is still trying to make more fire guys. Problem is like he won't be able to do the fire rights. That's so much. And now he tries to wall with the ducks, but the problem is like the ducks will go down and the fire guy will be able to destroy the walls, so um, this base is not walled at all. Um, adding a second range, okay, so we expect a lot of patches. Oh, I didn't see click the castle or so. So we expect crossbow from uh, Xardas in early castle age, which would be really surprising, I think, for, for judges because that's not what uh, Mongol do. Usually, now to go down. Okay, that's nice. Nice micro. He killed one Faragali. Now he evened up the numbers. So if he can get a good fight, he could snipe all the fish. Okay, this will go down. Unlucky, this one is carry sound. And now he has a number. He will win the battle for sure. Okay, a really nice pickup from John Chess. Uh, and now Xardas has to kill more Faragali, but he doesn't really want to because he wants to kill archers. Okay. Really nice pickup from John Chess. Um, we just need to see how uh, Xardas can do damage, how much damage he can do uh, to, to John Chess economy because he didn't click Castle Ridge and he's pretty far from it. So, with that many crossbow, he should be able to do a lot of damage. Um, so I said this wall, this base was not wall, but it is actually wall because the water is is red now. Um, but he can easily break with a botkin crossbow here, and if he can get to the wood line and the bolt, uh, I get a lot of damage. House falling will get broken by this one spear. If it's yeah, that makes sense. You already fished a lot, so doesn't make sense to uh, fight. Yeah, yeah, this is basically six hundred foot left, so it not, doesn't really make sense to to invest more. Uh, in, in terms of KD, KD is pretty much even, so I would say uh, yeah, he invested. What? Oh. Oh, that's an early consider. But I mean, yeah. He can't really do anything. He will get traded. But I mean, I guess if he plays a tower, he can defend against the, uh, the crossbow, right? It, it's hard for sure. It's, it's in a pretty uh, bad situation. But. Okay. I, I didn't expect. The end, the end right now. Okay, we'll play Xardas. Uh, nice fight on water. You had a better build order, I believe, and nice micro on, um, on the fire ship. So let's go to the next game. So, first game is blue, and the um, second game is this one on Moras. So, we have Japanese against Khmer's. So Japanese need to find the file. Oh, sorry, the computer is really slow today. Um, Japanese biology, yeah. Okay. Mm, 
všetky zachty a tam je zúbliť chmiaks. Okay, uh, Japanese, I think we saw them uh, two days ago. Uh, they have nice fishing ships, which is not very really useful in this map because well, there are ships fish, but no, no place for docking. Um, they, the important bonus here is that they have um, half-costed um, lumber compound mills, and as you probably want to make some mills in the middle, uh, it's a pretty nice eco bonus, and they have a uh, faster attacking infantry starting with feudal age, and they also have nice bonus damage with their cavalry against archers. Uh, the galley line of sight doesn't really make um, a difference in, in this game either. So we expect a lot of mills in the middle, and uh, maybe some cavalry if a Khmer player goes to goes for. Uh, archers. The Khmer player, the Khmer civilization, I mean, um, really nice to show uh, echo bonus because they don't need a building to uh, advance to the next stage or build, so they don't need barracks to, to make a stable and they don't need to um, package buildings to go to a village. They don't need mill to make farms. So it's pretty nice uh, when you want to save some resources, if you want to go straight for scouts. Um, they have uh, super speedy farmers that don't have to drop food to mill. No OTC, so um, they instantly gives you food. And a villager can carry them in houses, so they are pretty uh, safe uh, around houses. They also have a plus one range on scorpions, uh, which is situational, per se. But maybe against Japanese it makes sense, because Japanese tend to go a lot of infantry, so scorpions can do uh, pretty good. Um, I'm not quite sure about the Khmer, C, uh, Khmer PK, because um, I don't think you do that many farms in this game, so you some, somehow lose of um, one of the best bonus of the Khmer civilization. But the Japanese are, I like it a lot. Um, what, what's the strategy? Um, there is my home map, I think is Archipelago. Um, okay, so we have a lot of villagers on the woods, uh, maybe a little bit too much uh, given the Japanese bonus, but maybe he wants to go for a really early uh, barracks and um, drush. Also, milling the berries, which is um, okay, I guess, and still very few resources, but the berry collection rate is much more through than the fish, so. You probably want to go for fishing ship before fish before uh, berries. Um, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, for for Khmer, uh, the idea is yeah. Okay, you build houses here, so if your villagers are getting raided, you can save them in the houses. That makes sense. Yeah, and also like you can go all in on food and you can click up pretty fast uh, you don't even need to make a lumber compactory um this may help um and without us is voting can pretty early okay um it doesn't it just don't want to get faded at all <laughs> okay. um both players have the exact same the age taming uh, the only difference like Chanchez has 26 seconds I don't see so they have one virtual difference um, we have the barrack here but no militia queued so 
I guess there's no trash from the Japanese player. But instant stable and spear production, so we'll see a lot of spear on scouts. Um, John Chase is doing for about the same, but without the spears, so it might be a little bit clunky uh, to defend against them. the scouts without the spears, especially if Exodus sends some spear forward as well. Uh, so maybe you add you need to add um, a range also to, to help against the spears to micro them with some archers or skulls. Uh, but yeah, he needs to be aware that the spears are coming as well. Um, so that knows about the middle position in terms of scouting. I didn't check, but I, guess, I assume both players know where the other one is fishing. Well, technically, Don Chase didn't scout it, but when he scouted it everywhere, so he must know that this is where the players are. Um, okay, so Xardas has a, is a little bit early on scout, it looks like, but. Yeah, the spear will make a huge difference. John Chase is going straight for the scale bearding armor, which might, yeah, which maybe does a difference in in pure scout v scout fights. But if you add the spears, um, yeah, the scale bearding armor is is not, yeah doesn't do anything. Now he sees the spears, so he really needs to react fast with some kind of range play or even scout plays because I mean spear play because spear with spear, spear with spear is really decent. Um, but yeah okay so I understand the fact that you want to save your villagers. The problem is like the house doesn't do anything right so just getting battle down and you have idled villagers inside that will die when the house die. Um, and now it tries to micro the spears, doesn't do anything. Oh no, that's a good micro from Xardas. Uh, John Chase lost a lot of scouts. Now goes out with a pleasure because of the low, low HP house. Um, he could have, yeah, probably uh, run carries on the house to try and snipe the spears with Virgil because if you go with. Five six spear the facts five six spears are here. You can most likely kill the spears. Now we have a market. Mm. Yeah, because now it doesn't have access to food, so maybe he wants to add, uh, buy a bit of food. Yeah, he was forced to drop some farms um, because no more food access on the shortfish. Okay, like if you uh, if you might yeah now you have anchors and fields and when you see it yeah they just die so I understand that this is a nice idea on paper the problem is like it's very vulnerable to just getting attacked on the houses so you need to find a To have army to defend the army with which which is attacking the house. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's really disaster for the He's getting all his villager killed. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see the GG pretty soon. Uh, yeah, now he that's um, the scum he realizes that he needs it. The problem is like it's not enough and he lost all the scouts so now, the scout will just kill the scums and yeah, he can keep attacking houses. A lot of idols still. He could, he could attack for free like the, the house here and kill another five villager. Yeah, he tries to st steal a bit of food to make more, um, more army. Yeah, Dungeons is not really situation lost all the scout as well. It's minus 10 Virgil, no army. 
I have really clean microphone on Sardas. Had a good plan. Uh, Scott on spears forwards and yeah. Chanchez has two crits. Uh, Unmodable on from this spot. Oh, I didn't see the resources. Sardas could, could click also. Castle Age already. Uh, probably doesn't have the blacksmith rights. Yeah. The wood for blacksmith. Well, really, really played uh, Exodus. Very nice execution. Uh, quick 2 0. Uh, so I guess this stream tonight will be a little bit shorter than the one two days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Khmer bonus is pretty uh, good. Like, you want to skip the barracks to make scouts, but the problem is, like, you really need this, the barracks afterwards. So it's amazing when you want to go some kind of fast castle night build where you can skip both market and um, blacksmith uh, if you want to be like in team games when you, where you only want scouts you can go for scouts instantly but in 1v1 you really need the spears to defend the scouts yeah he was expecting mana times for sure it was because you were playing Japanese so of course he's expecting mana times uh, I was expecting my items as well, right? And uh, yeah, but I mean, once he sees the scouts on spear, he should place the, the range uh, instantly and start making some some skirms. Skirms are easier to make because they don't cost gold, but if he really needs to, he can even make archers. And a few archers with fletching can micro down the skirms, the spears, and then you can keep fishing with all the builds. Yeah, yeah, the spears, um, the spears is probably a better play. The problem, is, problem is, um, like, yeah, yeah, probably the spears is easier to 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 make to defend than uh, archers, but. Archers can also do something against spears. Okay, uh, thank you guys for showing up. I'm gonna cut the stream now, but um, I'll tell you when the next one is up. See you.